And this is a video comparison between the LG Stylo 2 Plus versus the LG V10. So we're looking at this LG Stylo 2 Plus. What a long name for, for but this is a awesome mid-range phone. This is a mid-range phone, great, great feeling device. Nice grippy back, almost feels like a carbon fiber, LG logo, 13 megapixel camera with flash. You have the volume rockers up and down. You have this fingerprint scanner that's boss. This is a very good fingerprint scanner. Plastic build, removable back, expandable storage, and in the front, we're rocking a 1280 by 720 display. This is a 720p screen, which is a pretty good IPS panel. Not bad at all. This has two gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of onboard storage with 32 gigs of expandable storage. 16 gigs of storage might be kind of hard to uh, live with because you can do so many things with this phone. Now, 5.7 inch screen is enough screen real estate. The bezels are not so big. Good looking phone. You have these chrome around the front, the phone. So it gives off a nice metal look even though it still is polycarbonate plastic. The phone feels light. You have to convince yourself that the battery is in this phone because it is so light. It's 29 milliamp hour battery that just lasts and lasts and lasts. So this is not a bad phone for a phone that you can get for less than $200. Now the price range for this phone around 120 something to even $200 and it's worth it because a lot of carriers are given to you on sale. This is not bad for the price. Now. When it comes to the LG V10, the LG V10 is a nice metal phone. So it's, you got metal and plastic going on here. You have a rubberized back that really feels good in your hand. You have the volume buttons with a fingerprint scanner, 16 megapixel camera with flash, and you got this laser autofocusing that's really on point. Two five megapixel cameras in the front that are very good with a 5.7 inch 5.7 inch quad hd display with a extra inch of display at the top so you could do multitaskings and so forth this is a real good phone and it's very strong now when it comes to both of these phones let's just start with the display you're dealing with 5.7 inch displays here and may i say this display on the LG V10 is on point. The display on the LG Stylo is a little lackluster at 720p, but you know, you can live with it because it's not a bad panel at all. It's not bad, it's not terrible, it's okay. But if you're a person that all your phones has been Quad HD, all your phones has been AMOLED, it's going to be kind of hard to get used to this screen. So when it comes to screen, yeah, the LG V10 definitely got a better screen. Now, when it comes to the 5 megapixel camera on the LG V10 versus this 5 megapixel camera on the Stylo, LG got two. You can take a regular 5 megapixel camera and then you could take a wide angle 5 megapixel camera shot. So you can get a lot of friends and so forth in the picture when it comes to this 5 megapixel on the camera in the front. They're good, they're adequate. It's a little trick up its sleeve, but it's still 5 megapixels. I think they should go up with that megapixel count. But other than that, the LG Stylo can hang around when it comes to the selfie shots as well. So when it comes to the cameras, we gotta give the nudge on the front facing cameras to the V10. So let's go to the back camera. 16 megapixel versus 13 megapixel. You guys pretty much know the LG V10 wins this, but it wins this, but you can still get some good shots with the LG Stylo. 
Now, the reason why, you guys are gonna say, why, why this guy is doing this video when this is more of a flagship phone and this is a budget phone that's trying to be a mid-range because you know why people are looking to buy these phones and they need to know how far apart these phones are. The V10, the V10 is a strong, durable phone and the LG Stylo is light but it has some functionality when it comes to this pen. With this pen, you can do a lot of different stuff. The quick mellow, the quick memos, when you when you uh, have the screen off, you can still write on the screen when you pull out the pen. So if you need to get that phone number from somebody special that you just met, you can pretty much take advantage of this screen. So this is not bad at all when it comes to the LG Stylo, you can do some tricks when it comes to that pen. Now, the LG V10, by being the strong phone, I call it the bionic phone, because this is a real strong, durable phone. Its trick up its sleeve is the secondary screen. And I'm telling you guys right now, this secondary screen has come in handy. When you're receiving a phone call and you're doing something on the screen, you're able to answer or or get rid of that phone call right from here. You can see your messages real clear right from here. That secondary screen has been a real asset to when you're busy in the day and you don't want nothing interrupting what you're doing. So now this takes us to the sound test. Let's get straight into the sound test and find out which phone sounds better. If you have the phone turned on its back, it's going to muffle out the sound. Not a bad sounding speaker, full volume, it's not bad at all. Alright, the LG V10 speaker is at the bottom of the device, so no matter how you lay down this phone, you still hear it. There's more sound, more quality sound coming from the LG V10. Now, swiping stuff off the screen and being able to have two apps on the phone running at the same time so you can do that multitask, both of them is here. So, the LG Stylo being a budget to mid-range phone can hang with a flagship but I must honestly say, the flagship obviously can do more. You're talking Snapdragon 808 processor with three gigs of RAM or four gigs of RAM, it's running. This is a phone that runs. But when it comes to battery life, that's where both these phones differ. Now when it comes to battery life, battery life on the LG V10, it's kind of disappointing and it's probably because of the quad HD display. LG have, wasn't able to figure out battery life on the LG V10 because there are days where I have to charge it at work because I can't get through my work shift with this. Other days, this phone can take me up to 12 hours, which is pretty good. And I always use my phone moderately to heavy. Or most times it comes heavy. LG Stylo because of the 720p screen is why this phone has some great battery life. This phone under heavy use is going to take you through your work day. A matter of fact, this phone can honestly take you through an extra shift at work with battery life to spare. Moderate to heavy use, I can easily say you can get about maybe 18, 20 hours. And under moderate use, I can say this is a 24 hour battery. You can go 24 hours with this phone under moderate use. The battery life is that good. Screen on time is saying eight hours. I, I would say, I thought it was seven hours, but screen on time is ridiculous on this phone. I'm telling you guys, battery life is not a disappointment on the LG Stylo. So when it comes to battery life, you can go with the LG Stylo. If you need that 
phone that can take you through a long day LG stylo so you get a little a little trick up your sleeve with the stylo you get a little trick of the secondary screen with the v10 not bad at all but in this comparison it's obvious what you're gonna get the pros and the cons but in this comparison because of the because of the camera because of the screen because all around durability I gotta go with the LG V10 in this comparison. We'll see you in the next one.